So a couple of months ago, I did a review on this. This is the Micro 2 slider from Zpon. Well, now you can get a motor for it. Hello, my name is Stuart and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the motor add-on for the Micro 2 slider from Zpon. Now, I want to thank Zpon for sending me the motor to go along with my slider that I have from them. They have sent it me free of charge. However, this will be an unbiased review. Now, if you want to know all about the slider, then check out this video here, which talks about all about the slider. In this video, I'm talking about the motor add-on for the slider. This motor, it comes in at around 200 pound. You can buy the motor with the slider together for no more than 400 pound. But this is a great little feature for this slider. I'm going to tell you why in a few minutes. Now, it is going to take a little bit of fiddling around to get it installed. You have to take off half the belt, a couple of screws, but once you've done that, the motor slips on and then you're good to go. Now, I've had this for several months as a Z-Pom will contest do because they keep emailing me asking when the video is going to be done, but I needed to really give this a thorough test for me to give you a review of this. And the reason why I was so interested in the motor is because the slider before as you know, I like the slider. I've showed you some footage from it. But if I wanted to get a slider movement like this one out in the field in, say, a macro adventure, I would have to have somebody with me to move the slider. Well, now you don't have to because now I have a motor and it can do it on its own, which means I can film sequences on my own if I wish to. That is a great thing for me. So with the motor, they also supplied a new bag and the whole slider fits into this bag. It's got um, some carrying handles and a clip on here. And I have used this to clip it onto the uh, outside of my uh, bag. Because unfortunately, when you add the motor to it, it does add more length to it. It adds a bit of weight and currently it won't fit into my bag now. But I'd rather have the motor on it and use it without the motor so much more convenient so there are instructions with it on how to fit it however the like ikea instructions are quite hard to understand so i had to resort to using a youtube video but once i watched the video it was very easy to install the motor onto this slider with a quick firmware update i was able to update the firmware to the latest one which enabled me to use a slider without using the app which is another fantastic option i'm going to talk about in a minute so on the outside, we have a couple of buttons. We have a power button. We can press the once to cycle through the three different speeds that this slider offers. We have a forward, backward button or left and right, depending on your orientation. We have a two and a half millimeter camera cable release port and a USB-C port for powering it. So you can power the slider from a USB battery bank if you wish to. Now I'm not gonna talk about time lapses in this video because I don't do very many time lapses. I will leave that for the better experts on YouTube to talk about time lapses with this slider. But what I have been using it for is for sliding shots in my macro adventure that I did uh, several months back. We've only managed to do one this year because of the pandemic. Well, hey, that's how things are this year. But I have been using it a lot to get some macro sliding shots, particularly with the lower 24mm probe lens. You put the probe lens onto here, onto a tripod, and you get some really nice sliding shots. So this motorized Micro 2 slider has a carry capacity of 4.5 kilograms. Now I've managed to get my EOS R on there with the lens and my field monitor and it's had no problems at all. I've added the same setup with the probe lens, no problems at all with this motor. Pulls it quite happily. You can go vertical with it, no worries, or horizontal. The motor is very, very quiet. I would say you would only hear it in the top end speed. This is on the slowest speed. I'm about six inches away from my microphone. Medium speed. And full speed. That is absolutely fantastic, but it doesn't matter if it was loud because most of the time I'm using it as B-roll and you're not recording the audio anyway. And even if you did, you're going to be recording it off camera like I am now, so the noise really isn't a problem, to be honest with you. Let me quickly interrupt this video to ask you, have you checked out my macro presets? I created 16 beautiful presets for macro photography that are perfect for a starting point in editing your photos. Click on the link below to check them out or go to stuartwood.com to purchase. And now back to the video. So with the app, you're able to set up a waypoints with this slider. So we go into the app. 
Once you're connected to the app, we can use the app to move the slider left and right, depending on your orientation. So we can do it wirelessly if we wish to. So what I want to do now, I want to move the slider to its first position, click on the one and see it highlighted red. That means that it has set that as the starting waypoint. We're going to move it all the way over to here. Click on two, move it back again. Click three, move it all the way over to the right. Then we can click four. You can see the time in seconds of how long it will take for it to do that sequence and we can increase and decrease the time it takes. Once we have set that, all we got to do is click play. You can see that's slowing down. Now it's going to speed up. What I would like to see is a marker on this app showing where in this timeline the actual slider is. That would be nice to see. However, that's not the best thing that this slider does. After I received it, there was a firmware update that allowed you to do an A to B repeat point without using your mobile phone. And that was my favorite way of operating this slider. If we can set the slider to our start point, we double click the power button. You hear a beat that tells us point A has been registered. We can then move the slider to where we want it to finish. Double press the power button again. You hear two beeps that tells us point two has been registered. And now to activate the slider, we press either forward or backward button and the power button at the same time. And now that slider is going to move backwards and forwards until you stop it. To stop it, we press either directional button and the power button again to stop it. Now to clear out those waypoints, all you got to do is hold down both directional buttons at the same time. You hear a long beep that is now cleared and ready to go for your next one. And that is the way I have been using this slider is moving it back and forward. You can adjust the speed while it's moving backwards and forwards. You don't have to redo your waypoint, so you can adjust the speed. 9% of the time, I've been using the slider just like that without the actual app. If you want to get into more advanced movements, like you need more than two waypoints, or you want the speed to adjust in between waypoints, then is when you use the app. The app is available for Android and iOS. I have had some issues connecting to the slider, but I'm 98% sure it's actually my crappy phone. So with this slider, I'm able to pull off shots like this. Trying to add a nice little cinematic slider shot to my B-roll in Macro Adventures is brilliant. If I want to add a little bit of a sliding motion to my macro videography, it's fantastic. Here are some shots using the motorized Micro 2 slider. Let's talk about the things I like and the things I dislike about this slider. I like that the slider is still compact even though you have the moat on it, it is still compact enough to carry it about. I love the fact that you don't need the phone to operate this slider, that for me is a big plus. I'm using a small Sony battery for this and it lasts hours. I've had it going all day long on one battery, no problems at all. Obviously, your user experience might be slightly different depending on the payload, how many times you're using it. But for me, a small battery gets me through a whole day of operation on this. But if you find yourself running out of power, you can always 
use a bigger battery on there. I love that Zapon forged ahead and sent a bigger carrying case with this as well. That was uh, well thought out. I love the range of motions you get off the app. So if you want to get a unique sliding effect, you can do that using the app. And the biggest thing I loved about this is the fact you don't need to buy a new slider to have a motorized one. That, in my eyes, is fantastic. That's Zipon looking after their customer base. Instead of forcing you to buy a new slider with the motor attached, you can just upgrade your current slider. It's very quiet with free speed. That's fantastic. Again, I mostly don't use the audio for my B-roll, but if you were to use it, then you won't be picking up the noise off this slider unless potentially using the highest speed but even then you can easily clean it up in audition so there's only a few things i don't like about this slider one thing i don't like is if you run out of power your battery or you haven't got a power bank you cannot move this slider so you can't manually move it if you do want out of power so you have to make sure you've always got power that's one thing i don't really like but from my understanding that is a trade-off for the payload this can use so being able to use uh, a payload of 4.5 kilograms you have to have the fixed sliding so it's not a deal breaker for me it might be for you but if it's not don't really worry about it one thing i'm not keen on is the weight that this has added it's added uh, a lot of weight it's also slightly longer now although this is still small which is fantastic and i've talked about that before it doesn't quite fit in my bag anymore so the battery does add more weight to the slider and the total weight of the slider is now 1.8 kilograms doesn't sound much but when you've got a bag with two cameras several lenses flashes it can add up but along with this i can carry it on the outside of my bag which is a fantastic option but just bear in mind that adding this battery on is going to increase the weight of this slider so overall i am loving this slider if you're in the market for a small versatile motorized slider i would highly recommend this slider as you've seen from the footage, even using macro lenses, there's no vibration from this. If you use a top end speed, you might get a little bit of vibration, but generally I'm using the lower end speed because we are zoomed in to two times magnification sometimes, and we can slide it back and forward with no vibration. Absolutely fantastic. When I'm out and about doing my photo works or an outside filming, most of the time this slide is coming with me, unless of course I run out of bag space or it's raining and I can't carry it on the outside of my bag but I absolutely love this slider. I've been using it for my product shots. I've been using it for my outdoor adventures. I've been using it with a lower 24 millimeter probe lens to get some very unique footage. I absolutely love this slider. And whenever possible, I'm always taking the slider with me. In fact, I'm taking the slider with me more than I do my Ronin S now. So if you are interested in this slider, check in the link below. There are some links to go and look at this slider and purchase it if you wish to. Again, I would like to thank Zipon for sending this over to me. I much appreciated to them. I'm absolutely loving this slider. I really, really do like it. I would recommend it to anyone who needs a motorized slider for their video because this is a fantastic bit of kit. So what do you think of this slider? Are you looking to get one? Are you interested or in the market for a slider? Let me know in the comments below. I will leave this review here. Again, my name is Stuart Wood and I will see you on the next video. So a couple of months ago, I did a review on the Micro 2 slider from Zipon. Well, now you can get a... It's not a battery. <laughs> so we have the motor box here. comes in this little box. So Zipon offer... So Zipon have the option... A little more than... Uh, well, you won't get no. Or if you already had the slider like I did, you can buy just the added or you can have, and I have actually clipped this onto the S, particularly with the lower 24 millimeter. I'll spat again. However, if you use the app, you can get a customized type of. Um, <coughs> however, you get. However, that's not the best thing that this slider does. Now, don't get. I spat again. However, that's not the best thing that this slider does. However, it's best if I hold it, isn't it? However, that's not the best thing that this... I'm getting distracted. However, that's... Here are some shots you use... Here... And this is why I've not been getting much work done. I'll see you on the next video.